Well, it's not exactly an ideal day for boating, but that hasn't stopped these brave souls from climbing aboard their assorted watercraft, canoes, kayaks, and whatever else they can float on. And... Float your baby down the ganny! Woo! Float your family down the ganny is a celebration of the 1980 flood in Port Hope, uh, which sort of tore apart the town. And uh, almost immediately the year after, they wanted some way to celebrate uh, the, the big flood. So they basically said, hey, let's do, let's do a float down the river. So in 1981, the first event happened. Unfortunately, due to dangerous water conditions, the course had to be altered on Saturday to finish two kilometers shorter than the usual finish in downtown Port Hope. And the floaties division for inflatables had to be abandoned altogether. Yeah. However, the fun factor and creativity was still in abundance as the competitors headed swiftly downstream. It's the love, it's the caring, it's the people, it's the fun, it's life. I love it. I love my friends, I love my people. We just dug through the tickle trunk uh, like Mr. Dress Up and grabbed whatever we had to put on just to, uh, to look good. <laughs> Despite some near wardrobe malfunctions, the parade of proficient paddlers was a sight to behold. As Vikings, are you exploring new lands today? Oh, I yes. think we oh, probably yeah. will be exploring the underwater scene today. <laughs> I'm just a big canoe fanatic, and uh, I've done some whitewater canoeing before, but this will be more fun, definitely, with the costumes and everything. It's way more fun. Even with the crazy attire and the emphasis on having fun, there is a competitive side to the event. They love timing, they love to see who can be the best. We have the same teams coming back every year for bragging rights to, to win the paddle. After a couple of days of heavy rain in the area, the weather held off on Saturday, and for the most part, everybody's fanny stayed dry. Rob Leth, City News.